So I think the one really huge piece when we had Jack and we were at UVA and had so much going on, we did not have time to set that up for ourselves. But a lot of people were texting our family members, texting us to say, what can we do? It was really easy to just say, yeah, there's a take them a meal link. Here's the website. That piece was really huge. Hi, my name's Jessica Schickel, and one of my favorite meals to take is chicken pot pie. It reminds me of the first time that I made it from scratch when my husband and I lived in Uganda and we weren't able to get chicken pot pie there, so we had to make it. And it just felt like a comforting meal that was a piece of home. And I hope that when we take that meal to people that that's how they feel too, that they feel just a little piece of home. In 2021, my husband and I had a son who had hypoplastic left heart syndrome and was born early at UVA. And we had a bunch of friends and family who wanted to do something for us. So friends set up a take them a meal for us so that people could deliver food to us in Charlottesville and so that we just had one less thing to worry about. And we even had a friend who sent copious amounts of freezer meals so that at any point when we needed food while we were there, we, we had food and that, was the, that wasn't a worry that we had to worry about. And then when our son eventually, unfortunately he passed away, and when we came back home to Harrisonburg, we continued to have friends and family and people we barely even knew from church who just wanted to take care of us and to do that through meals, which was amazing. Our church has a place in the bulletin where they have meal needs and they have the password for takethemameal.com and the name of the recipient and then you can go on and, and find out you know, when they need meals and put in their information and their password and look at their meal options and select what day you wanna choose to bring them a meal. And usually you can put in what you're gonna bring so that the family knows what, what they'll be receiving that evening and go from there. I made the filling a couple days ago, which is just like carrots and onions and celery, butter, of course, and chicken and broth, peas, and all the good stuff that's in chicken pot pie. And then I used store-bought pie crust for the sake of time. And honestly, I'm not a good pastry chef. I'm a much better cook than I am a baker. So I used some pre-made pie crust and filled the chicken pot pie filling into the pie crust and rolled out the tops and put those on and did an egg wash on the top and put them in the oven. And then I have salad that I'll prep that's blueberries and goat cheese and craisins with arugula and spinach. I love to cook. I love the creativity that it brings out in me and I love the challenge of reading somebody's preferences or their dietary restrictions and being able to meet that and care for them in whatever, whether it's, you know, having a baby or somebody passed away in their family and it's a hard time or whatever it is. Yeah, I just like to be able to love on them through food and take care of them in a, in a way that I 